Hi, I'm Phyllis from SouthernFrugal.com. Today we are going to make some chicken that's uh, going to be stuffed with pepper jack cheese and some spinach. Now, I got this recipe from one of my very nice subscribers who sent me an email and gave me the recipe and wanted to know if I would do a video on it. And I'm happy to do that. The thing was, I couldn't find any chicken breasts that were not just regular chicken breast. So, as luck would have it, it's been, I think, probably two or three weeks since uh, Kim sent me this recipe. I happened to be at a bilo uh, in uh, Columbia, South Carolina, and lo and behold, they had the chicken breast that were from Fieldale Farms. I want to show you this. Can you see that? Fieldale Farms, right there. And this is the same company that I got the uh, chicken that I used for chicken and dumplings. And I think I did a baked chicken a few days back. So we just have not had chicken literally for years because I just couldn't handle the way it tasted. My husband disliked it worse than me. So we just got to the point, the only kind of chicken we usually had was the canned chicken and a little Swanson's can to, to make chicken salad. So I'm very thrilled to be able to find this because I know the chicken is absolutely delicious. Now, I've never flattened the chicken breast in my life. So I was trying to look up how to do it. So y'all gonna have to bear with me because I've never tried this before. But anyway, I'm going to wash off these chicken breasts, and uh, unfortunately, then I'll have to disinfect my sink, but that's the way it goes. And uh, then I'm going to slice it in two. I'll, I'll just show you that, okay? So we'll be back in a minute. Okay, the chicken is all washed, and now I'm going to proceed to cut it really in two like this. So I've never done this before, so let's see how this goes. Now for this recipe, Kim said you need one pound of chicken. So that went pretty well. Alright, let me try this one. And this was a the other one was a thicker piece. So let me see how this one goes. It's not quite as thick. But these two chicken breasts are one pound. Alright, well that was pretty easy. Alright, so now I've got four parts of chicken breast. And now I think what I want to do is lay them out and then I think I roll them. I know some of y'all already know how to do this. Be careful not to touch anything. a video of a lady rolling out the chicken breast and all she did was just put them between pieces of saran wrap and just rolled them with a roller. Let's see if that works. the person was pounding on with a little back side of a, one of those little mallets that you tenderize the meat with. So anyway, I don't know if I'm doing a very good job of this really. It takes a lot of effort. But they are getting flatter. Okay, I'm going to keep working on this and we'll be back when I get them flattened. Alrighty, this is about as flat as I can get them. That does look like about a fourth of an inch. So I'm going to put a little salt on them. 
And if you use pepper at this point, you'd want to put a little pepper on them too. And again, this is one pound of just chicken breast. It's skinless. Okay, now for the stuffing, you're going to need one nine ounce package of chopped spinach. And I just got this frozen pack and cooked the uh, spinach in the microwave for I think about three and a half or four minutes. And then I drained it and kind of mashed the water out of it. Now to the spinach I added a, a four ounces of Monterey Jack cheese and this is the pepper jack. So again, uh, the nine ounce pack of Green Giant chopped spinach cooked and drained and four ounces of just pepper jack cheese shredded. Now to this mixture, we're gonna add a couple of tablespoons of breadcrumbs and I put about a teaspoon and a half of Cajun seasoning, the New Orleans Cajun seasoning and just mix that up and then dump that in with the filling. And then mix that all up. Now for this, uh, Kim says you're gonna need lots of toothpicks. So, now I've got four flattened pieces of uh, chicken breast meat. Mix it up a little thoroughly, more thoroughly. Mm, smells great. All right, we're going to start loading it into the chicken. So, I just take a piece of the chicken, and put some in there, kind of spread it out a little bit. Now this filling would probably be enough to do at least four chicken breasts, probably. I might have too much in these, I just don't know for sure. Again, I've never done this before, so. Now Kim says that you can, after you cook this, uh, you can also slice it into medallions. All right, so I've got my toothpicks here. Let me see how this works. Pulling the chicken breast over. I think I've got too much filling in that. Now my, my chicken breast, after I rolled them out, they just kind of came back together, really. So if I can just put the toothpick in like that. I'm going to have to work on this a little bit and we'll be back because it's going to take me a few minutes. Okay, I think I've gotten all my chicken together and I've drizzled it with a little bit of olive oil. A little more on there. And I've sprinkled it with a little bit of this Cajun spices, the New Orleans Cajun spice. And now, I've got some leftover filling, so what Kim said you could do is just put it right on top of the chicken. So that's what I'm going to do. Then I'm going to have to remember to get my toothpicks out, of course, once it's done. Now this uh, bakes at 350 degrees for about 35 to 40 minutes, and it should be done. And I can tell you it smells really good, really good. that over on the top of it. All right, we're ready to put this in the oven now. And we'll uh, be taking it out in 35 or 40 minutes once that chicken is done. 
and I'll show you what it looks like. I'm very excited about this because it smells very good. All right, in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and fix us a salad to go with this. All right, when this gets done, we'll be back. Okay, the chicken is done, and I've cut a little piece off of it, and I'm going to have to try it. it smells wonderful. and it absolutely tastes wonderful. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and fix the salad and we're gonna be ready to eat. So I don't even know what we need to call this. I guess stuffed chicken breast, I'm not sure. Anyway, we'll come up with something. Thank you, Kim, for the recipe. It tastes wonderful. See you next time.